you don't know us, I'm Doll from the team Doll the Magic Cosplay and we are a cosplay duo team. We do mainly cosplay competition around the world and stuff like that. And this is a weekly vlog where I chat about what's happened during the month because we are the team 2024 for the World Cosplay Summit, which is one of the biggest cosplay competitions around the world. So I hope you like to follow her adventure. So first update is more personal on what happened in her private life. Uh, we have a house and we are doing some renovation. Actually, uh, we don't do a lot much. We mostly prepare for the winter because if you don't know, we are in Canada and winter can be pretty intense. So we take all the table and the chair from outside and bring them inside for the storage and just to be sure that the backyard is ready for the meter of snow that we're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> and we also change a little bit of the space on because downstairs we have the main area where we work, um, where most of the material are. When we have a casting to do, it's mostly there we are doing it. I also have a section only for the sewing. And we have another section where is all the power tool are. And we change a little bit of the layout there. But it will change again and again because, you know, you are never satisfied with your workshop. So we will probably show you more update on that. But for now, we just change some shelf and stuff like that so hope it will be better for the storage it's what happens when you're a cosplayer and you are a multi diverse element cosplayer because we don't do only sewing we do 3d printing casting uh sewing i'm currently learning gold work embroidery i do wigs prosthetic we do so many things, so we have so much stuff. But sometimes it, it can be really useful. So it's what happened for the house. In terms of personal life, um, we see friends, we... So mental health is good. It's probably one of the most important thing. So uh, we're going to mental health. Uh, damage just get uh, had a big operation at the beginning of the month for his back. Uh, it's a huge problem that, in fact, that it can work a lot on costume because he's often in pain. So hopefully we get a new um, a new operation to help him with his back. But. It's okay, I can work for two, I'm quite intense, so it's good. Also, if you watched the previous video, you know that uh, my wallet has been stolen. And short story, long short story. In 2019, I worked for a jeweler and um, we went to World Cosplay Summit in Japan. And during that time, we want to do the Mario Kart thing. And my license was not up, up to date, so to do the Mario Kart, I was not sure if I would get my license on time, so I put my job address so they could send or send, at least send me a picture uh, when I would be in Japan if it arrived on that time. Finally, I get it at the right time, but it's the fact that in my previous wallet, I have my license, my driver license inside someone was kind enough to just take my wallet back to my old job so they call me and i get it back so i started having faith in in the world so yes for sure my debit and credit card was missing but at least i have other important card so it was the good luck of the month <laughs> So I think it's everything for the personal, yeah, we see friends, we go outside and it would be harder during December to see friends because of the snow, but also, you know, you have all the holiday, but for sure we'll take a moment to see our friend, so 
that's what everything happened for the personal thing. Time for the yukai update! Yay! Sally, I'm not done with his cosplay. Uh, it's almost done and for sure the photo shoot will be done uh, as soon as I can but I don't know if I will be good with the snow to shoot with him because yes it's a dual costume I do with him but yeah uh, his costume is almost done I practice a little bit with him but most of the elements are attached to his harness so it will be fine with that and yeah, I'm really excited to show you this costume because it's a series that we love and it's, it's such a pleasure to do a costume with early the boy. But yeah, he's, he's feeling well. Um, nothing a lot to say about yokai. If you follow us on Instagram, you have your daily dose of yokai. And um, he's still the cute little dumb dog. <laughs> so nothing really important happened to him this month. And it's okay because he is clumsy and I love the vet but I don't want to see him hurt too often. Yeah. Cosplay update and the most important part is the World Cosplay Summit update. Uh, some of you know we are making new costume to do like all the other side event you have during the WCS. So this month I finally finished Nanao and I'm currently finishing Shinsui. Uh, only thing missing is the pink uh, ahori he have on his back. And I learned silk painting and seriously I think I will only work with that type of paint because the fabric stay really soft compared to regular fabric paint that's still a little bit stiff even if you uh, seal it with heat and stuff like that. So I learned silk painting and I love that. It's like working with watercolor, but you have to put guta and stuff like that. If you want to have more information, don't hesitate to contact us. So actually I'm doing all the embroidery. We have an embroidery machine. We do all the embroidery and motif, motif all over and it will be sick. I I think I'm in love with that question. And on the other side, we also work a lot on the Dragon Ball cosplay. It's each time I say Super Saiyan, but it's Super Saiyan, something like that. I didn't watch Dragon Ball, so this one is mainly for damage. But yeah, um, half of the costume are done. So I mainly have the boots, the glove, and the helmet to finish. Um, it's the artist part, but yeah, we. I think we be able to finish it in December. Yeah. So if we go with the main cosplay, the one we are bringing uh, for Japan for the final, it's uh, I. Actually, we didn't work a lot on those costumes. Um, I have to remake the lining for the coat. All the fabric is cut, I just need to sew it. But this coat was painful to do. Yeah, a Tatsuki coat can look really simple, but actually, if you want to do it right, it's quite difficult. So, I'm currently remaking the color to be more bigger. And my lining was quite a funky on some space, so I'm currently trying to fix it. And oh yeah, we got uh, good news that um, a company will help us for the screen on the back. Uh, when I will have all the confirmation, I will be so happy to talk to you about it. But it's in fact that um, we will have talented artists to work on the screen. And when I said talented artists, I mean artists that work on video games and movies and stuff like that. So 
I'm so happy. In 2019, I was helped with uh, by a friend called Black Sasaki, uh, which who I go to school with, and the work was insane. Um, so th the job was so well done. I want to repeat that for the 2024. So yes, we got the confirmation for that. So. We are really happy about it. So that's mainly what's happened with the WCS update. Commission! Each time I, I repeat myself, but we do commission, but not. it's not our job. We have a personal job that we love, so we only do, do that on the side. We have one that we're still working on. It's a big props. It would be mostly done in December. Um, we have a new one just enter. It's supposed to be a small props. It would be really awesome to work on that. And uh, we also offer printing, uh, 3D print. Actually, some people sent us files and we just printed because or Prusha, sadly, <laughs> I'm, I'm not fast enough to use my printer efficiently so we offered th that service but yeah actually we don't search for commission we don't have hope and slot but if you have a project don't hesitate to contact us it will be a pleasure to see if we can work together or if we can help you find someone to work uh, with So for November, another things happen. If we call about photo shoot, we also go to a convention. I was the only one doing going because damage was buzzy. But uh, I went to Wecon. It's a small local convention, a one day convention in a school, and I really like it. Uh, the staff was amazing. The other guest was amazing. Uh, contestant, I judged the uh, cosplay contest, and damn, so many good cosplayer, and yeah, the, the convention was really great. I hope they will continue to grow because the staff is so passionate, and I think it's what we like uh, actually in convention. They are so passionate and want to do so good. The dealer's uh, room was so well done. I actually have a preference for a convention in uh, Europe, but this one was definitely in my top. So much diversity and stuff like that. And uh, since it was in a school, I have the chance to debut my cosplay from Iki from Air Gear. If you watched the previous video, you know how much I'm air gear fan but like I'm obsessed with air gear mainly with most of the work from oh great and so it was one of my dream cosplay to do and I did it and I take some picture in a school so it was so perfect to just do everything match I still need to do the track because the rotor blade um, if you know air gear, it's only to um, roll. I don't remember the words, but it's not a four heel, it's uh, two wheels. And I need one of my friends to help me cut some metal because I really want to wear it for real. <laughs> I, it's my dream cosplay, so I need to do it for real. So I just have to finish that prop to finish that cosplay. And on that, we can continue on the personal cosplay side. Is uh, I have mainly focused on the double CS one. Yes, I have finished Iki on time. Um, bias was a pain to do, but I mainly focus on uh, Nana to finish it and try to finish uh, Shunsui. Sadly, today is the last day of November, so. It will not happen. I'm still at the beginning of the embroidery, so and yeah. In the personal, I think I have shifted my focus on the WCS one, but probably for the rest, um, I have to go shop some fabric. Damage will help me with that. 
uh, actually it's he is the one who pick all the fabric he decide which fabric I'm gonna use um, he just have a talent for that each fabric he chooses is so beautiful so it will help me so I have mostly have all of my stuff to uh, start iron which would be an embroidery hell where I will do a, mo a lot of end embroidery. I tried to bring a bit of gold work, but I'm not sure I will be able to make it fit properly and look good, but I will find a project with gold work. It's easy though, <laughs> but yeah. So in personal, it was a focus on WCS and I mainly finished it. Oh, I also had one that I have started and I still haven't touched is my Kindred uh, Spirit Blossom version. I think I will probably start it at the beginning of January. No, I will continue it in the beginning of January, so... But it's still there, I still have all the material and one day I will, my mind will just click and I will start working on it. So yeah, you probably see that I, I tried to update a little bit. I tried different setting on the camera. I have two lights. I probably had more. Tell me what you think and if you have some tips for the uh, quality of the uh, videos, poke me. I need help for that. So yeah, I think it's enough for this month. Um, I think it's what quite similar of October. Like we didn't have a lot, but we work a bit by a little bit and yeah, I think we just had fun and don't put pressure on herself. So yeah, actually don't forget that. Cosplay is need to be fun because I'm not a fan of cosplay is for fun, cosplay need to be fun. For me, cosplay, I do it for uh, the passion I have for um, creating stuff. Sometimes it's it's not fun, actually, like burning yourself is not fun. But yeah, cosplay need to be fun. If you don't have fun doing it, tr try to find why and try to maybe sh shift it and stuff like that. So on that last word, I hope to see you next month and on that, See ya!